The Last Judgment, a compelling work by Ivan Franco, delves into the complexities of morality, justice, and human nature. The story, written in the form of a short narrative, is set against the backdrop of a village that becomes the focal point for an extraordinary, supernatural event. The plot revolves around the sudden appearance of a mysterious judge who arrives to deliver divine justice to the villagers, revealing the hidden sins and moral failings of each person. This fantastical premise serves as a vehicle for Franco to explore deeper themes of guilt, repentance, and the human condition. Franco's narrative technique in The Last Judgment is marked by a blend of realism and allegory. The village and its inhabitants are depicted with meticulous attention to detail, grounding the story in a tangible reality. Yet, the arrival of the supernatural judge and the ensuing judgment process introduce an allegorical layer that elevates the narrative from a simple village tale to a profound moral parable. This duality allows Franco to critique the social and moral fabric of his time, using the village as a microcosm for broader societal issues. The character of the judge is particularly significant. He is not merely a figure of authority but a symbolic representation of divine justice. His unyielding demeanor and ability to see through the villagers' pretenses force them to confront their true selves. Through this character, Franco raises questions about the nature of justice and the possibility of redemption. The judge's judgments are harsh and unforgiving, suggesting a deterministic view of morality where one's actions are inescapable and irrevocable. This portrayal can be seen as a critique of the rigid moral structures of the time, questioning whether true justice can ever be achieved within such a framework. The villagers' reactions to the judges' revelations are equally telling. Their initial fear and subsequent attempts to justify their actions reflect the universal human tendency to avoid responsibility for one's wrongdoings. Franco uses these reactions to expose the hypocrisy and self-deception inherent in human nature. The villagers' varied responses, from denial to desperate bargaining, highlight the different ways individuals cope with guilt and moral failure. This psychological depth adds a layer of complexity to the narrative, making it not just a moral tale but also a study of human behavior under extreme pressure. Franco's language and style contribute significantly to the impact of the story. His prose is both lyrical and precise, capturing the atmosphere of the village and the tension of the judgment process. The dialogue is sharp and revealing, with each character's speech reflecting their inner turmoil and moral struggle. This stylistic choice enhances the emotional resonance of the story, drawing readers into the psychological and moral drama of the characters. The Last Judgment also touches on themes of community and isolation. The village, initially portrayed as a close-knit community, is revealed to be rife with hidden animosities and secrets. The judgment process exposes the superficial nature of the villagers' relationships, suggesting that true community cannot exist without honesty and moral integrity. This theme is underscored by the eventual isolation of those judged most harshly, who find themselves ostracized and alone, symbolizing the ultimate consequence of their moral failings. In conclusion, The Last Judgment, by Ivan Franco is a multifaceted narrative that combines elements of realism and allegory to explore profound themes of justice, morality, and human nature. Through his vivid characterization, sharp dialogue, and evocative prose, Franco creates a compelling moral parable that challenges readers to reflect on their own actions and the nature of true justice. The story's enduring relevance lies in its unflinching examination of the human condition, making it a timeless piece of literature that continues to resonate with contemporary audiences.